Hello Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lemke here with your Gamer Goggles. I'm uh, in the Paizo booth for Pathfinder, They're primarily doing the card game here with Mike Selinker. Uh, and we're going to chat a little bit about his life. <laughs> <laughs> I was born We don't have to go back that 1967. far. 1967. But uh, you've been a game designer, well, he's what you would call a deity in game design, uh, right? I think you may have confused me with some sort of other person. Uh, I've been around for a while. That is that is certainly true. You you, you stick around long enough, uh, you get a few accolades along. This is true. Uh, you started way back when with freelancing. Yeah, um, but I you was, still do a little bit of that. Uh, well, I mean, my company's kind of built on it. I mean, we uh, uh, yeah, I started out doing uh, freelancing for uh, Dragon Magazine and Games Magazine and um, uh, uh, TSR. Uh, I did a bunch of stuff for them, uh, you know, just just general general uh, uh, gaming when I wanted to do it, and then eventually uh, Wizards of the Coast called and had me come out uh, to to Seattle, which is where I was born actually, um, in 1995, and uh, uh, then they brought TSR out to uh, <laughs> to Seattle, and so. I got to hop back over to that and help with uh, third edition Dungeons and Dragons, and um, uh, relaunched Axis and Allies and Avalon Hill, and did wow, Avalon Hill. I haven't yeah, heard that name in a while. Did uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill and um, uh, uh, Risk Godstorm and Alpha Blitz and some games like that. A lot of collectible card games. Um, and then I started. Uh, Lone Shark Games in 2003 so that we could work for whoever we wanted to work for, and uh, that has led us to do Pirates of Spanish Main, Unspeakable Words. Uh, I did not realize... You're talking the Whiz Kids yeah. at all. I did not realize that was you. Well, it was James Ernest. Uh, James Ernest and I formed, um, formed uh, Lone Shark Games, and that was the first uh, product that I got to work on after I left Wizards, and so uh, so it was a nice nice way to start, right? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, was, that was a great game. Yeah, was, that was one was, of my favorite. It was games really shocking Wizards. because uh, you know I got out of Wizards. I was like, well, you know, I'll try a few things. Maybe something will work out, right? And uh, the first thing we do gets 15 expansions, right? So, yeah. So you're doing so, something so, right. Something was right. Uh, but um, and then you know and then we made like. Lords of Vegas, Unspeakable Words, um, now the Pathfinder Adventure card game. Which is pretty phenomenal. I've only got to play it twice, and I haven't moved beyond the base game yet, but it's uh, pretty amazing. I haven't actually written my review yet. I want to play it a few more times. I suggest you consider a positive review. That would be my recommendation. Totally unbiased. Totally. Totally. No, I... I, I now, now it's totally unbiased. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Was the only thing I had an objection to about that game was how big my name is on that box. It was ridiculously large. But, but you had so much to do with it. It's true. I mean, it's you true. deserve that credit. No, it's and it, it really is a unique gaming experience. I think so. I mean, we, we were trying to aim for something that um, was kind of the, the summation of all the things I wanted to play. I mean, I, I really love role-playing games. I just don't have the time as much that I used to have. I mean, I'm in a, I'm in a D&D Next campaign with the lead designer, Rodney Thompson. Um, you know, I, I play a little bit, right? But, I mean, nowhere near as much as I wanted to play back in the day. And, uh, and I really like clever card game mechanics. Um, I'm such a huge fan of... This is full of... Yeah, I'm such a huge fan of, of Magic and Dominion and, and other games like that. And so I just sort of... Uh, my, my, my guys, uh, Ryan Sand and, and uh, Tannis O'Connor and Chad Brown and Paul Peterson and Gabby Weidling just threw it all into a stew, you know, and said, okay, this is how we would make a game that really works for us. And I think we came pretty close to it. And then Paizo came on, and they, you know, knocked it out of the park with, uh, with the art and the world and the editing and all, all that, it, it, the graphic design. So... I mean, it was really a pretty good combination. And you did a Kickstarter last year. I did. I did. I did a. Um, I'm really excited about this. Um, wish I brought it with me. Uh, uh, I wrote a book called The Maze of Games. Um, it is uh, 
19 years ago, I came up with this idea for a novel of uh, these two kids in 1897 England who get trapped by this mysterious guardian called the Gatekeeper in a series of ever-increasingly lethal mazes, and uh, came up with this idea for a puzzle novel where it's a solve-your-own-adventure. You have to navigate your way through the book because the pages are in the wrong order. And we put that up on Kickstarter. We were hoping that a few hundred people might want copies, and uh, we kind of caught fire uh, in a very, very strong way. It was pretty good. Funny how that can happen. <laughs> it was really surprising to us. I mean, we, you know, it's not what I normally do. I mean, I write puzzles, I write games. I'm not known for being a fiction writer. Um, so people were really gambling that I could write my way out of this this concoction that I've made for myself. And it turned out to be a really good book. I got a lot of my friends to be involved. Um, I got the artist Pete Venters, who's one of the best oh, wow. Magic the Gathering artists there's ever been. I've got a few of his things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. I love Seinfeld. He did such a great job of that. Um, and then, um, then I got uh, uh, all of my puzzle maker friends. I got... Uh, uh, Will Shorts and Richard Garfield and, and uh, Scott Kim and, and Cliff Johnson. Uh, I got Cliff Johnson to do something. You know, it took him, you know, 20 years to do the sequel to uh, um, <coughs> a fool, uh, The Fool's Era, and then I got him to do a piece for me and, and all that. So it was really great, and uh, so we're really excited about it. Um, we we it's on a boat to uh, Seattle right now. It'll be going out to people uh, next month. We're going to do another Kickstarter. Really excited about this. I haven't really talked about it much. Um, for a Maze of Games audiobook where you can listen to it while you're solving. Uh, and that's narrated by my friend Will Wheaton. Uh, we, Will, wow. Will, uh, Will is just amazing. I mean, there's like 60 characters in this, and he has a different voice for all of them, and he keeps it all straight in his head, and he, he's, just, he's just phenomenal got uh, some of my musician friends to be involved, um, Marion Call and Paul and Storm and uh, uh, Kirby Crackle. Just, just, I mean, I got, I got the, the great thing about the Maze of Games is I got the project I wanted. The thing that I, I wanted to do most, everything happened the way I wanted to do. And so, That's good. you don't get that very often. And no. So, um, anyway, it's, uh, it's cool, it's coming out, it's uh, something that I hope... Uh, People out there will look for when we put it back online and, uh, you know, take a look and see if they like it. So what are your plans for Gen Con? Oh, you know, I wasn't going to go. No, that's God. No, no, that would be a disaster. <laughs> it would be an absolute disaster. I was like, what? <laughs> no, uh, that was good. Um, let's see. Well, uh, we have a new expansion, sorry, a new uh, box set for um, the Pathfinder Adventure card game called... Um, called uh, uh, Skull and Shackles that's coming out. It's a pirate set. What? Yeah, Skull and Shackles. I've heard of that. That's a good name. Right? Yeah, that's a good name. Uh, so, uh, pirate set, uh, it, it changes some mechanics in a crazy way with with ships and guns and, and all sorts of craziness. Um, then we have the debut. I'm really excited about this. I, I don't know how it's going to go, but I think it's going to be amazing, of uh, our organized play. So... We've created seven class decks, which are, you know, a deck of fighters, a deck of uh, uh, rogues, a deck of sorcerers, whatever. And uh, you bring your own deck, and you play through a season of of, um, of adventures that are unique to the organized play program. Um, I, I mean, this is this is one of the most ambitious things that I think we've ever done uh, with with this organized play thing. Um, my developer. Tannis O'Connor, who helped me with the, the sort of core design of, of the, the card game, jumped over to Paizo to helm the organized play program, and that was a, a huge deal. She's doing some amazing things there. So you'll see her there. I'll be in there a lot. Um, we'll have the Maze of Games there. We have um, another thing we do there is the Gen Con Puzzle Hunt. Uh, we've been doing that for 13 years. Uh, it's a puzzle game. What? It's rough. It's, <laughs> I, I did it. It's I, tried, a bit, I tried doing it one year, and it's I'm like, a bit, It's a bit challenging. Uh, well, the people come from all over the country to do it, and they bring, uh, you know, uh, printers and, and laser scanners, and, and, and I mean, they, they really come all out. So, uh, 
it's a pretty pretty uh, pretty strong fun uh, event. So that's happening here. Uh, it's happening at Gen Con. I got a bunch of other stuff. Um, we did a thing last year called Tabletop Deathmatch. That was a lot of fun. Uh, let's, your, your viewers might have seen it. Hope to do something like that again. You know, just just lots of stuff going on at Gen Con. And what about after Gen Con? I fall asleep. Well, I would imagine that's pretty immediate. No, uh, I meant well, like I mean, you know, Pax's Pax Pax Prime is right afterwards. I have a developers convention right after that called uh, Pax Dev, where we bring in uh, all the 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 game designers and, and they learn from each other. It's uh, it's a pretty fun experience. It's completely black boxed. There's no social media, no no uh, no reporting, no cameras, nothing. So we're all just learning wow. from each other. Um, and then we go into Pax Prime uh, in Seattle. That's uh, you know a, a phenomenally large convention, uh, video games, and uh, 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 we do a, we got a thing going on for the new game Dragon Age. Oh, I'm helping with the the launch of uh, Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition. I mean, just it's going to be yeah, a busy. You've got month. your hands everywhere. He's got he's the ADHD game designer. Yeah, there might be something to that. I don't stick. I, it's really so. This is really a different experience for me because I'm usually I make a game, we do it, and I'm on to the next thing. And you can't do that with this. This thing is this thing is uh, is going to be around hopefully for a very long time. And uh, so we're, you know, but I mean, it means I have to keep paying attention to it rather than wander off and do, do something else. So, uh, I mean, I, I, it's a great thing to be able to, to say that about. So, um, so yeah, I mean, uh, this is great. We've been in the Pathfinder booth. Uh, there have been hundreds of people who've come for demos of Skull and Shackles. I assume a lot more will at Gen Con when we actually oh, have yeah, it. You know, it's like... What eighty percent larger ish? Well, it's huge and it's uh, massive, and it gets bigger every year. And, so. and I mean, we were we were shocked at the reception that we got last year. Um, we sold out in four hours. Every table, yeah, it was amazing. Every table was packed. Um, you know, everybody sight unseen said, "This is the game of the year. We want to, you know, we want to be a part of it." And I never saw that coming. Um, so uh, well, good for you. That's awesome. Yeah, it was great. And so it's going to be a great Gen Con. It's going to be a great PAX. Um, the rest of the year we might be, go a little darker. You know, just 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 cool out for a little while and uh, uh, regain yeah. your footing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Build up some fortress walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's 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 really fun. But but this is uh, kind of running like a shrew. Uh, it, for yeah, a, mentally draining too. Bit. I'm sure. Bit, I mean, we're at day four of Origins, which is a great convention. Um, everybody yep. here is wrecked, right? I mean, not me. No, you. No, you're a you're a man of uh, great. I'm a man of no sleep. Oh well, that's. Did uh, you just decided to stop? Kind of. I, yeah. I just kind of. I, I sleep when I get home. I, yeah. I, I go into convention mode, and I, I average four and a half hours of sleep at a show. That's awesome. And I stay coherent. I don't know what it is. I, I got a decent amount of sleep sleep this uh, last night, and I don't think I'm coherent. We, uh, of course, we did something different here. We. Uh, we do a podcast um, from the Big Bar on Two. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so James Ernest, Paul Peterson, Don Dem, and myself uh, basically sit in the bar. We have microphones. We invite all of our friends to come by and uh, be on our show. It's called Origins by Night. You can see it on my uh, my Facebook page and on uh, the Lone Shark Live um, iTunes. Uh, but yeah, we had. Uh, we had Tracy Hickman and John Kavalik and and uh, the Wiz Kids guys. And, wow, what a blast! And and just everybody, uh, all the the D and D Next designers, the Paizo guys, just everybody on the show. And I mean, it is just a blast. And of course, we're getting more and more inebriated as we go along. In of the show. course, um, you know, buying everybody drinks. See, that that might be part of it. When I come to a show, I actually don't take the no, time to drink. I, that's a totally reasonable thing. I gave up. Uh, Caffeine during conventions. Not, I didn't give up caffeine in general, but I gave up caffeine during conventions a bunch of years ago. I don't think I can do that. No, it's the opposite, right? It's like you do you you should trade out one of those two things, right? Because caffeine will drain you, right? It'll keep you going. Yeah, because it'll, it'll dehydrate. You. You. Yep. And alcohol will do the same thing. And and you think of one as an upper and one as a downer, but they're both really downers. Yeah. And so so you can do one, but, but not, not both. So I gave up caffeine. Uh, but I, you know, I do like to go to the bar. 
uh, Big Bar on two is I, we figured out last night I have ordered more drinks in that bar than any bar in Seattle where I live. Wow, that says a lot. <laughs> um, so, what else do you want to share? Oh, I mean, it's uh, I mean, we just have had um, some of the most amazing fan reaction to things we've done in the last year that I've ever had in my career. Um, you know, back when I was at Wizards, it was great, but we were sort of at a, you know, a real sort of, uh, we were in our little little tower, and we didn't get out much, you know, and the fans would, would do things, and we would, you know, uh, uh, note that it was happening, but not, not really participate. Now, I mean, I'm right there in the middle every day. I'm online, I, I you know, answering questions, and coming to shows like this and uh, playing games with people I've had more people come up to me they, they, I don't have a badge on because I lost it several days ago uh, and people just come up and say Mike I just wanted to thank you for the Pathfinder game it's one of the best games I've played and I, I've just been blown away by that I really love uh, love the reaction that we've got and uh, it, it is solid I was, when I first heard about it I was like, how are they going to give the RPG experience? And you succeeded. And that, that sells it for me. I, I mean, I, in some sense, I've been working on this game for 20 years. Right? Until, oh, you know, I mean, not really, but, you know. But it's been back it's here. Been sort of back yeah. in my brain stem. And eventually, uh, uh, after uh, sitting down with my friend Ryan, um, sort of, uh, he had some ideas and, and we just hit it. Like, we were like, oh, that's how you do it. That's how you solve the pandemic problem of playing a cooperative game where uh, where you don't want somebody who's the general playing everybody's turn, right? Instead, you give everybody self-interest in their decks and you have them exploring locations in different different places and be on a hunt for something. I mean, all the things came together really nicely. And, uh, you know, I've got just the best del- development team. I mean, I, you know... Uh, Paul Peterson, who did Smash Up, is one of the, the core developers. Uh, Chad Brown's the lead developer, one of the best there is. Um, Gabby Widelane, Tannis O'Connor, Vic Wirtz, Ryan Campbell. I mean, just an amazing team, and all the Paizo guys, phenomenal. So, I, you know, I mean, I'm pretty lucky. I, get, I, I really get to live the game designer's life. And that's awesome. It's pretty great. I'm trying to break into something similar. Well, you should keep at it because it's a great I'm, it's a great thing to be. I'm going to get there, I think. I think but, so. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's been great. Nice chatting with you. I think I've known your name for quite a while and I've seen you around. And this is sadly the first chance I've got to talk to you. Well, it won't be the last, I hope. That's good. I, I'm glad to hear that. Assuming I live through Gen Con and PAX, we'll do this again. I think, I think you'll manage. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're going to sign off from Origins Game Fair. See you at Gen Con. Good. See ya. All right.